starting off the vlog Monday morning and I have just had such a lovely slow Monday and that's exactly what I needed. I talked about this in a recent podcast episode, but I have been feeling so all over the place lately. We have been traveling quite a bit and just have had a lot of stuff going on. And so I was just craving a slow Monday morning of getting into the swing of things. It's about 9.30 right now. Baked some bread, which I just popped out of the oven. It looks really great. I also got a new bread cutting knife. So I'm really excited to use that. I'll use that in a second, but did that. Been tidying up the place, took cash for a walk. It's a very gloomy day today. So it's the perfect day just to be at home. But I'm recording a week in my life this week, which I'm really excited about. Excited just to have some days at home, running some errands. At the end of this week, we are going to DC for our friend's wedding. Excited because Aiden has off. So he'll get to just go around with me. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog that yet. I don't know if that'll be a part of this vlog, maybe in another vlog. It might not even be a vlog. So we'll see, but I'll definitely be sharing that over on Instagram and excited for that. So we leave on Thursday. So this will probably just be Monday to Thursday. I'm thinking just want to have kind of a chill week. I do have a lot of work stuff to do. I'm actually recording some content today at home. I need to do a reel for that very exciting brand that I've talked about my exciting partnership. And so I'm going to record that today. And then when Aiden gets back from work, I think we're going to tour a couple apartments. So we'll do that. I also made hot coffee this morning, which I hardly ever do. But when we were in Colorado, I was just using classic, you know, coffee pot coffee and it was so good. And so we picked up some just like hazelnut coffee and it's really good. I've been drinking that this morning and I also need to do some work on my laptop. So we're going to get some work done this morning, probably for the whole day is going to be mostly getting work done and just getting things together. I've got a mound of laundry there, which I need to work on. We were actually in Austin this past weekend. And when we got home, Aiden went and got our groceries and I asked him just to pick out some flowers and didn't like tell him an exact type or anything. And he picked out these hydrangeas and they're so beautiful. I can never keep hydrangeas alive. So we'll see how long these last. I also do have a sad plant casualty over here. This is the plant that I propagated back in my spring refresh vlog. It's just a certain type of pothos, I'm pretty sure, or a phyla. I've put the name here. I can never pronounce it, but I don't think I did a great job of planting it and it is officially dead, which is fine because the nice thing about propagating plants is I don't feel as guilty because I didn't buy the plant, but at the same time, I also propagated this and went through all the work to make sure it had all the roots and everything, but now it's dead. And I also have another plant casualty over here. And this one's been on the outs for a long time is my palm plant. I think this is just the worst placement for it. And I just don't think it was getting enough water humidity, I'm pretty sure. And so this one also needs to go today, which is a little bit sad, but I've had this one for a decent amount of time. And so this one's been on the outs, but it's okay. We're gonna find something new to replace it. It lived a somewhat happy life. But the nice thing about the propagation so over here, I have a few different ones that I'm propagating. I have my Monstera, which is over here. This one's doing really well. This one has officially started to grow its little white roots or whatever they're called right there. And this leaf just blooms. So this one is pretty happy. And I also have a bunch of cuttings from that other plant that I did. And these are ready to be planted as well. I need to replace the water on this one too. So it's okay. We're going to try again. And I'm thankful that I have those. So I can just replace. cut my bread. But I wanted to say that I just got this fancy bread cutting knife. I just got this off Amazon. I've always struggled to cut my bread. So we're going to see if this makes a difference. I think it should. Okay, I think I'm stupid. I, don't I definitely need to perfect my bread cutting <laughs> skills. This is the hardest thing because I like having sliced bread as if you got it at the grocery store. It's so much harder to cut sourdough bread that you make yourself. But again, this loaf looks amazing, super good. Still not as fluffy as I would like it, but I think I'm about to try some more involved recipes. This one's still a very basic recipe I've been using. It's always linked down below. It's super easy to do. It's kind of hard to make mistakes with this one. And it also is just really yummy. So still good. I'll also link my bread knife down below. Again, I need to figure out how to use it better. table because I shot my reel, which feels so good to have that done. It was also very convenient because I had to clean for it. So our apartment is clean, but I'm going to do some work at the kitchen table. Now it's about three o'clock. I'm finishing up my video, which I always love editing travel videos. So I'm really excited about that. And I just made myself some lunch, toasted up a couple of pieces of the bread I made, put some avocado on them with an orange on the side. I just love being back to my normal 
eating routine. I love eating three meals a day at home. It just feels so good. I changed into this tank top from Lulu's. I love this one. I'll show you guys the back. The back is my favorite part. It's open, so I just have a little bralette under it, my Zara jeans. Excited to work out tonight, just having a lovely day at home. Hi from a lot later. Just toured a couple apartments within our building too. One of them is actually one that we've already looked at, but we want to look at again. The other one is just a one bedroom that is higher up in our building and it has a door on the bedroom, which is great. So I'm still just not sure what we're gonna do because I haven't fallen in love with any of the different units that justify paying more. I said they did fall in love with one of them. I really liked it, but the issue is they are demolishing a building next to our building right now in July. And that's exactly when we move into this new apartment and it faces that direction. So I'm just nervous about the sound and the noise with the construction. So it's made making a decision just so much harder when it comes to figuring out where to go. And it's just something that we're doing for a year. So it's not really that big of a deal. So I don't know. We'll see though. I'm just a little bit unsure of what's going on. I don't really know. We need to move in a year. I guess we don't have to move, but we want to move in a year. So, or in a month, my mind is in a zillion different places right now. But what I know is that I'm getting ready because we're gonna go work out and I really need a good workout. So let's do this. I'm wearing these biker shorts from Lululemon. This is the Amazon crop top I was wearing before. I've really been liking working out in this top. I just ordered it in a couple of other colors too. I really like it. So I'm gonna braid my hair and then head to work out. We are back from our workout and I'm currently just starting some dinner. I'm making this feta chicken meal from Half Baked Harvest. It has like pita bread, feta, lettuce, chicken. It's gonna be really good though. It's also not too hard, I don't think so. I'm excited. I feel like I haven't cooked a proper dinner in a while. Not that the other dinners are not proper, but. I just got ready. My hair is slick back today because it is honestly so greasy. I woke up this morning and went for a run just because we're doing an F45 workout tonight, but it's kind of like more of a lifting day. So sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do like to get a run in on those days when I feel that I have the energies. And I'm actually running just a few small errands today while I have the car. I'm one, getting a pedicure, which I never really do. The last time I got a pedicure was actually the nail polish that is chipping right now. And it's been probably six months. My toenails just need a little TLC, so. I'm doing that. I might also stop by the mall and just pick up a couple of things. I might just be able to make something work that I have though too. So we'll see, I just wanna stop by there. My button down is from H&M and then my dress that I'm wearing is also from H&M underneath it. And even without this button down, I just think it's really nice and comfortable. And then I'm just wearing my Converse, which are just these kind of like chunky platform Converse. Just got to my appointment and I wanted to share that I just switched out my phone case yet again to another case to fight case. This is my tried and true one. I love it so much. It's like a tortoiseshell, super cute, especially with neutrals. I just think it's a really nice case. I've had this one for years and it's why I love case to fight. I'm so thankful that they're sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been a long time viewer, you know, I love case to fight. They make the best phone accessories and also cases. I don't even remember the last time I had a case on my phone that wasn't from case to fight because they're just the best. I personally love them so much because there are so many different options on the website. If you like more patterns or if you like more minimal designs, they really have it all. It's always hard to find a phone that's both protective and kind of slim and stylish, which is why I love Case Defy personally. I drop my phone all the time. I tend to be a little bit klutzy and so I love the fact that I always know my phone is never going to crack when I have a Case Defy case on. The reason being it's made with a Chi Tech material that's going to protect your phone from drops of up to 9.8 feet. Also, their new 
impact cases and their new ultra impact cases are made from 65% recycled materials and also plant-based materials. They're 5G compatible, wireless charging compatible, and also I have one of these kind of like MagSafe wallets on it. So this is just a stick on wallet that I got from another website, but essentially it's nice because you can just stick these on because I don't like carrying a wallet and my purse is so small. So I like that I can just stick this in here. don't have to carry my wallet and my phone case lets me stick this on here, which is really nice. They're 100% non-toxic, 100% non-hazardous, and they're made with an antimicrobial coating that's going to protect your phone from 99% of bacteria. And also if you like to customize your cases, you can do your initials on it. You can do whatever design you want. You can collage photos on them. I've never done that, but I kind of would like to do that. I feel like that would be a good birthday idea, but I love Casefy. I always have a promo code with them. If you guys want to check them out, you can just go to casetobuy.com slash Michelle Reed, and that'll get you 15% off a new phone case or phone accessory. And that is always active. You just always have to go to the link. It's not a code or anything. You just visit the link. I'll have it linked at the top of the description box. If you're wanting to switch out your phone case for spring and summer, I always think it's nice to kind of switch things up because we're always carrying these things with us. So it's nice to have a case that you actually like, but I'm going to go ahead and head in here and head to my appointment. I'm going to go ahead and head in here. I go to Rose Couture Nail Bar. Love them so much. They do such a great job and it's always just a very pleasant environment in there. So car because it is currently downpouring and thankfully I started leaving an umbrella in the car which I'm very thankful for because I didn't have that when I was going to my appointment but it's in here now I just ate at a place called Bella Green which is really good it's by the nail salon and I got a chicken Caesar wrap and now I'm gonna go run some errands and then head to pick up Aiden here soon it's about 1 30 the rainy vibe it's not stormy it's just rainy kind of the vibe besides running into the car when it was raining. I just got out of the mall and I didn't end up recording too much in there because it was a little bit chaotic but I wanted to share a few things that I got just some spring things for some trips we're going on. I've been wanting just more blouses that are easy to throw on with jeans so I'll try these on when I get home but I got a couple of tops. This one is so cute. I got these at Nordstrom but they're top shop. I love this one. I love the green. I love the v-neck on it i think it's so pretty and of course i love me some puff sleeves and then i also got this top that ties in the back it's black and white i'm not sure which kind of pants i'm gonna wear with this i might still just wear light wash jeans with them because i don't really wear black jeans that much anymore but i picked up those and then from urban outfitters i picked up this dress which i love i think that this one is so cute it also has kind of a crochet v-neck on it has really pretty straps on it and it's just a really good length i like this one too because it's not too short a lot of times dresses especially from urban outfitters are way too short for me and so that one was just a good length to wear with sneakers and then lastly from zara i just got a couple of things i got this hair scarf that i thought was so pretty it's just a really pretty silk hair scarf i'd either wear this as a bandana or tie it in my hair i just think that this is really pretty for spring those people were definitely judging my parking job just now but it's not the best so they kind of have a point lastly i just got this linen top i actually got this more as a swim cover-up i think that this would be really pretty but i obviously wear this white button down all the time and i have another white linen top that i wear so often i just love really light blouses like this and so i saw this one and picked that up because we're going to rhode island to the beach we're going to florida with my family so both of our family vacations i think that that would be nice to have i'm actually about to face on my friend right now my friend isabel in new york who i haven't talked to in forever and so i'm excited to catch up with her and then i'm gonna go pick up aiden been needing to do and now we are headed off to our work. Back from our workout, I just showered looking a little bit crazy. It is the most beautiful rainy night this evening. It feels so good. I'm just going to sit on the couch, get some work done. I lit our candles to set the vibe. I actually have quite a bit of work to do tonight. Just a couple of hours of work. Aiden is also grabbing us some food right now. We just ordered some food because didn't really want to cook. I'm also really hungry. The thing about the later evening workouts is we get back around 7.30 and I'm just ready to eat then. Like I don't want to wait to cook usually. So it's hard, I need to figure out that. I got salmon bowl, so it should be good. Our workout was also really good. It was a full body strength day, so it felt good to lift some weights.
happy Wednesday. I recorded a video that I'm posting on Saturday and then I'm also editing it today. Just getting a lot of computer stuff done, a lot of sponsorship stuff before heading out tomorrow evening for our flight. I did want to note that I didn't work out this morning, but I walked cash and I made baked oatmeal and I just did, I kind of eyeball everything, but it was like half a cup of oats, one of my ripe bananas, a dash of baking powder, a dash of salt, some almond milk in there, chia seeds, and I topped it with peanut butter, chocolate chips, and some honey, and it was so good. That was my breakfast, it was delicious. I wanted to say that because it was really good, but something is happening next weekend that I didn't really plan for, but it is happening, and it's a big, big thing, and so feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Thankfully, this trip that we're going on this weekend is kind of our last one for the next bit. We won't be traveling until the middle to the end of June, until then, thankfully, because I will literally have to be at home to do said thing with Aiden, but big life changes coming. So definitely stay tuned for those. They, it'll be a part of the vlog here soon, but I've been organizing that too. So hate to be the person that's like, big things coming, but we got big things coming. So I'm really excited for that. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna continue working. I've been trying to put my phone on airplane mode while I'm working. I have to finish my stuff today. So I'm trying to not get distracted, but I just don't wanna get distracted by my phone and scrolling. Cause that's one of my goals for June. So I'm gonna keep working. Headed to go work out. I feel like my life lately has been working out and sitting at my laptop because that is what life has been lately. But I promise, I know this vlog has been really just mundane and I've been all over the place, but next week things will get more exciting. I promise but just bear with me right now. We're getting there. Also, I've been wearing the same workout stuff because I can't find my workout clothes. I just did all this laundry and I don't know where any of my workout stuff is. So I'm wearing the same top I was wearing yesterday. And these Lululemon leggings, which aren't even my ones I like to wear. I like to wear the ones that are like really high. I can't find them, but I just need to go work out. I just made us some dinner. This is some salmon that I did in the air fryer, kind of side dish that you pop in the microwave. I think it's like cheese and broccoli, really good. And then I just roasted some asparagus. So pretty simple, but. I'm currently really baking a loaf of bread. So I have sourdough all over my hands right now, but I'm about to start packing for DC because we leave tomorrow, but tomorrow's gonna be crazy. So I just wanna go ahead and try to pack tonight. And right now, Aiden is grabbing me stuff at Target. I had asked him to grab me fake eyelashes a sticky bra and then also hairspray. So we're gonna see how well he does at picking these things up. I'm gonna be surprised if he gets everything that I had on the list, but until then I figured I could start packing because I'm feeling a little bit stressed out right now. There's just a lot to get done, but I do wanna say that dinner was so good. And that just goes to show that you don't have to make a fancy dinner because that dinner was very simple, but it was super tasty. This right here is the dress that I'm wearing to the wedding that we're going to. So it's kind of a more casual wedding because it's basically kind of a second wedding after they got married during COVID. So I think this dress is so pretty. It's actually rented from my newly order. It's a like garden theme. I think this is just absolutely perfect. So we're gonna wear this. Aiden is getting my eyelashes right now and he just said, will 429 lashes work or just 420? Look a little bit crazy. So we're gonna see. I feel like these are very wild, but I'm just at a point where I don't have time to do this myself and I really need the help. So I'm just gonna take it, but those are okay. Good morning, it is Thursday morning. We leave tonight to go to DC. So today is about to be a little bit of a whirlwind, but it's gonna be good. I'm feeling good about everything. I actually woke up at 6.15 this morning. For one, I went to bed really early last night, which I needed. I've been working on a loaf of bread to drop off with my mom when I drop off cash today. So I was finishing up that today. I'm gonna bake it when we get back because we're about to go to a workout class at seven right now. I'm gonna throw on my workout clothes. I also need to type out kind of a sheet for my mom, even though the only thing that Cash really needs is to be fed. So it's not really a lot of stuff on there. But man, I just wanna stay in my pajamas this morning. I'm like feeling so comfy. These are from Target. Melissa gave me these and they're so comfy, but I need to throw on my workout clothes and just get ready and then. We had a really nice arm day today, which was great, but preheating our oven for our bread. And now I'm gonna take cash for a quick walk around and then start doing all the stuff that I need to get done today. But thankfully, it's a beautiful day today. When we go to DC, the forecast just shows rain. So I feel like we can't escape the gloom. So it'll be nice to get some sunshine today though and take cash.
Starbucks. I am almost to my parents' house to drop off Cash and I'm getting him a puppuccino because I always feel bad even though we're literally leaving for two days and he loves staying with my family. He loves having so many people around, having a backyard. And so it's really no big deal, but I always get sad. So I'm picking him up a puppuccino. Jamie's also working from home. So I want to grab her something. She wants a honey citrus mint. Yeah. And I might grab myself my second coffee of the day, which is probably a bad thing, but I'm definitely needing it. There's still quite a few things we need to do. It's noon now. I will say that I'm bringing my bread over for my mom for watching him and just my family. And it's making the car smell so good right now. It smells amazing. It's one of the best reasons about baking the bread. I'm just gonna do a venti cold brew with a splash of almond milk. Can I also do a grande honey citrus mint tea? And do you have your turkey bacon sandwich? Can I just do one of those? And then lastly, just a puppuccino. Thank you. Last minute decided to get the sandwich because I'm feeling a little bit hungry right now. I like that they're smaller now. I feel like last time I came, they were huge and he just obviously he does not need that much. I don't give him these very often because they're obviously not the most nutritious things for dogs. Every now and then. Is that so good? Look, you got a little bit that. Got a little bit left. Wow. That is so good. Good stuff, huh? everything on my to-do list. I had to drop off a check and I had to get a cashier's check for that, but I just did that. Finished packing, Aiden's about to pack, and we're headed to the airport. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I know it was kind of chaotic. The next couple of weeks are probably going to be very chaotic, so I will just warn you, but I'm excited to get to a point where the traveling slows down, life slows down a little bit, and I can just be a bit more present because I feel like I've been all over the place lately, but I'm excited for this trip. I'm excited to see a lot of our college friends are gonna be here this weekend, so it'll be nice to see all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you're all doing well. Again, if you want to check out Case Spy, I'll have them linked down below. You can visit casefy.com slash Michelle Reed to get 15% off a new phone case or phone accessory. So thank you guys for being here. I love you all from the bottom of my heart and I'll catch you guys in my next video.